we've got day two um sitting in 34th place gotta have a huge bag today i don't know where i'm really feeling i didn't sleep great i've got some high nerves because g's leading the tournament gosh i you guys i just i'm gonna be praying so hard for him today that he can bring this thing home um i me for what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna start on the same place obviously although i'm kind of regretting not going to my starting spot or my the dock spot that you guys saw i guess those docks were on fire first thing in the morning i i thought I, it was backwards in my head i thought the dock bite would be better as the sun got up but it wasn't and i guess you know i guess it makes sense floating docks it's a little different but that's okay learned a, learned a lot with that on this tournament things to do next time things to try next time today we got to go out there and smash a giant bag i'm gonna try to stay positive we're gonna do the best we can <sighs> try to hook some biggins let's find those big small mouth today i've been missing those so that's what we're gonna do y'all let's go get them all right guys we got first cast here in just a second Come to some random spot. See how it goes. Okay. I had one hit there. It doesn't feel very big though. bigger though. I can't believe I'm throwing a freaking Ned rig right now. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Yes, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Nothing to be embarrassed over, Christine. Do you have a limit? No. I mean, I should have, but I didn't measure that fish. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is that your bait or is that... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's... those are freaking tiny fish busting on that. No, I saw I saw a little fish. Um, oh, I said I went hit the freaking spoon. Oh my gosh! As soon as it hits the freaking. They've had this bait pinned up over here for like an hour. I need to stop throwing a spoon. Cotton Cordell. Do you see that? No, over the next to your bait. Like over here. Right there. Yep. 
Oh my gosh. That feels big. No, it's not. <laughs> Felt good though. Gosh dang, did it feel good? But I guess I better measure that one, huh? Yeah, but please get your limit. Because if you do, or if I do get you, I don't want it to be here. Oh, that would 100% be on you. <laughs> Gosh dang, 14 incher. Oh. Go. He his he got his uh, he lost his wallet, so he um still still Oh my god, please don't be a drum. Please god, don't be a drum. It's definitely a freaking drum. Yeah, it's a drum. I can feel it. Oh, you have the small mouth. I was about to say the small mouth has been fighting like No, her. it's a drum. That flash of bronze will get you every time. <laughs> you see that freaking dark, ugly son of a gun? Anyway, so he's like, hey, it, I got an email from my insurance company saying that my policy lapsed. I got a new card. Here's my info. Can you get this? Gosh dang, I was so excited. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that the smallmouth have, have been fighting weird today. I got that head right there. That worked. You need more holler. All right, y'all. We doing Ned rig things. Not proud of it. <laughs> Not proud of it. But baby Dale is proving that they're working. Like I might just I'm like I don't know what to do right now. I'm like part of me is like just go. Oh God! Dang it! Christine, let them have it for a second. I'm watching Christine's rod tip bounce and she's trying to just rip their face off. As soon as it bounces, I'm like, you gotta let them have it. That's a freaking catfish. Starting on my freaking little spot just messed me up today. It's okay. You want me to break your heart? What? Are you, are you kidding me right now? That's the best one cool. <laughs> Hurry up! Hurry! Did you Hurry. freaking see that? No! Focus! <laughs> Just a few, two minutes. Hello, Christine. It's because I'm not doing what I'm, I'm confident in. That's literally why. I've been sitting here for an hour and a half, and you show up and do that. Catch an 18 on the first cast. <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's because I'm not doing what I like and I don't know how to throw a Ned rig. Mwah! Get it? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> ah, and it's on camera. <laughs> so I can't even believe that. 
I literally like can't even <laughs> believe that. Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't even know what to say. You owe me, a, you owe me a beer. That's for I, I'm sure. gonna get you several liquor drinks for did that you, one. Uh, did you tell him what to use? No, I'm. And all that? <laughs> no, that's what I did yesterday. I sat there and was crushing and catching five or six, and he had nothing. Stop doing the four face of sonar. And then today, it's yeah. Ned Rig stuff. And yeah. I can't do it. I just called up three and a half inches. <laughs> do what? That's over. I can't. I, I I literally. I've been sitting here for an hour throwing. It. That just goes to show, like you can figure out what other people are doing, and it is if it's not what you, it's not your deal. You won't catch them lesson learned you do your own thing and i always do that i don't know what i think today because i didn't start here and i got all messed up uh, 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 yeah i'm sure you got freaking four i'm yeah. sure you watching I'm me catch fish. i'm sure you watching me catch eight or nine fish on a ned rig you know that should have gave you confidence in it no because i, I don't have confidence in a ned rig i don't ever throw them yeah they do that at the Susky and they come up and just make that little boil up a little, little for it. I don't even know what to say about that, you guys. Can you tell I was a little frustrated today and uncomfortable? And I think that was karma for me giving Dill a hard time on the first day when I was wearing him out on a big swim bait and he was using board face and sonar and not catching anything. And then lo and behold, he starts wearing him out on a Ned rig, the bane of my existence, you guys. I. I can't throw it. I've had terrible. If y'all remember my Kentucky Lake tournament from a couple years ago, that's why I don't do Ned rigs. Don't do them. And I finally broke down. I never, ever, I don't care what other people are doing and catching them. I usually stick to what I'm confident in. Today, I just broke and tied that dang Ned rig on. And look what happened. Was not good for me. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to y'all. If anything from this video, Stick with what you're confident in. Go with your gut, fish your strengths, fish your strengths, fish your strengths. It's so much better than listening to Doc Talk or doing what anybody else is doing. Promise you that. I haven't heard from G yet, so that probably means he didn't have a good day. I'm kind of bummed. But I'll let you guys know in a little bit here how we fared. He will be on the stage, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm bummed, you guys. I had a great practice and just... Learned a lot though, learned a lot with what I should have done. I just did not execute. So appreciate y'all, love y'all. God bless, catch you next time. That top breaker with 178 and a quarter inches for the weekend, catching some phenomenal bass uh, on Lake 10 Killer from Texas, taking home $9,000, Guillermo Gonzalez. I got your voicemail the other day, and so I tried my best to pronounce like you do. I hope it did a good job. So, Guillermo, Guillermo knows, everybody knows our next two anglers that are coming up. Guillermo Gonzalez is arguably one of the best soft-spoken, best spokesmen in the entire fishing industry from top to bottom. We appreciate everything that you do. You work within the industry with bait development, rod development. Everything that you do, you pour your heart and soul into, just like our next angler. And we appreciate that, and it shows, and your humility that you exhibit is a testament to all of us to mirror and might me personally try to do that myself. So we thank you for everything that you did this weekend. Uh, Mark Cisneros did a great job highlighting you all on the Bassmaster site. So I just wanna let you talk about what it took to get you on stage and then give your thanks and gratitude to everybody. Man, so uh, I'll talk about what it took to get here first. When I figured, when I heard that the championship was going to be in Oklahoma, I actually I love fishing in Oklahoma, and you know that's that's a testament to the great fisheries here. Coming from Texas, um, Oklahoma is one of the most underrated uh, places to bass fish in the country, without a doubt. There's so many great fisheries, but I had one opportunity to qualify, and I took that opportunity, and I made it here, and I was so happy. And now here we are up on stage. It's such an honor. Um, but uh, as far as 10 Killer, man, 10 Killer was such a cool lake. 
And what made it cool, one of the things that made it cool was, was not just, of course, going out and catching largemouth and smallmouth and spots, but, you know, we showed up to the tournament and I thought I was going to be able to go, you know, I thought I was going to fish super pre-spawn. I was going to be able to go down the bank with a red crankbait and a spinnerbait and just absolutely wear them out. But that really wasn't the case. Uh, it kind of fished like a fall fishery. And as you all know, you know, fall fishing can be tough, but it can also be incredible. And 10 killer represented what is best and what I love about fishing in the fall. And uh, even though we're in the spring, of course, and uh, man, I had an absolute blast. I was throwing a six inch swim bait the whole tournament, um, fishing around groups of fish that were congregated around bait. And uh, the reason I threw that big swim bait was because I wanted to make sure I caught the biggest fish in that group. Um, it, you know, you could throw a smaller swim bait and, and catch fish all day long whenever you got around that bait. But uh, that big one, I didn't get very many bites, but when I did get bit, it was the right one. Well, Guillermo, we appreciate everything you do. You got anybody you want to thank before we bring up our champion? Of course. You know, I got to start off by thanking uh, Jesus Christ Most High for just giving us the opportunity and giving me the opportunity to be a part of this absolutely incredible community. The fishing community is unlike any other community I've ever been a part of, and I feel so incredibly blessed. Of course, I got to thank my family, uh, my mom, dad, my sister. They sent me so many texts and just encouraged me, my friends. Christine, she's the most encouraging person in the world, and I'm so lucky to have her. Um, rumor has it we might do some team boat tournaments pretty soon, and I can't wait to do that. Y'all better watch out. We're going to put a whooping on y'all. But anyways, uh, and of course, everybody that reached out to me. This was, uh, it was such a cool experience. I'm so blessed. Of course, all my sponsors um, and people like you, Steve, who, who give us these opportunities to fish in these amazing events and stand before all of you. Guillermo, thank you very much, brother. Appreciate you so much. Be safe getting home. All right, we're going to bring out last year's champion from Lake Chickamauga, Russ Snyders. He'll be giving away the Lake 10 Killer Bassmaster Kayak Series Championship Trosfree with 180 and a half inches, taking home $25,000. Drew Gregory.